Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. This Ghost Rider with the bike this time is ready to ship. This is still sculpted by Franco Carlissimo and this is actually his second Ghost Rider. Comes with two portraits and a portrait stand. Got a very rare Wolverine for you guys. This is called the End Wolverine. This is a very rare find actually. Comes with four portraits and some hand switch outs including a sword. Just hit me up if you are interested. Got one of these Alex Ross Flash available. This is obviously a museum type statue. Comes with two portraits and two set of hands. We got a few slots left available for this Caleb Nef Zen Spawn. It is ready to ship, so just hit me up if interested. Got one of these OG Color Spider-Man available. I do have the retro version of this one, but for now it's just the regular or the blue-red version available. It comes with four portraits and all of them are masks and all done by different popular Spider-Man artists. This one is ready to ship, so there will be no more waiting time except for shipping. Got one of these Venom vs Carnage available. You are already looking at the prototype and it will be shipping soon. If you guys are interested in this, I will be bundling this up with a Soldier Venom I have in inventory. So all you need to do is pay for this Venom vs Carnage. Then of course the shipping for both ones. Uh, this one is ready. But I can ship the Soldier Venom in advance if you want. This museum type Iceman is ready to ship. Gotta say this is very very impressive and definitely tempted to get this one. Small base and a great statue. This Venom is ready to ship. This is a companion piece to a Spider-Man with a similar type of base and now it also be a companion piece to a symbiote Spider-Man version. No more waiting time for this one except for shipping. This statue comes with a whooping eight portrait switch outs by the way and half of the base is removable so if you want to display him lower, you can do so. We have the prototype free will for this amazing cosmic spider-man. Whoa, this came out amazing, definitely better than its initial photos. The color is very vibrant, it really pops. This is definitely the cosmic spider-man to own and I don't think there are any quarter scale uh, cosmic spider-man out there. I have a few of this Venom on Throne available. It is sculpted by Caleb Nefzen. I only have the Venom one. I don't have any nulls. So just hit me up if you are interested. We got the prototype reveal of probably the best museum type Carnage. Love the scope on this one. Very easy to display, easy to pair with other Spider-Man or Symbiote collection. Factory did a fantastic job on the prototype. We got the prototype reveal for this Symbiote Spider-Man transformation. Colors are very vibrant like it should. Love how simple and small this statue is and it's actually quite unique with the transformation stuff. We have the prototype reveal for this museum type Venom. We both have the black and blue versions of the prototype. Uh, scope looks pretty good, pretty solid in my opinion. Definitely a pretty good Venom to own. Got lots of very nice portrait switch outs and the paint looks really, really good, especially the blue one. I'd say it is a must have color for Venom collectors if you already have the black one.
We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Venomized Hulk. This is sculpted by Dario Bass and it looks amazing. It does have a torso switch out which looks really really good. We got the full reveal of this invisible woman as well as the Mr. Fantastic statues. Both paint came out amazing, definitely matches the Johnny Storm before it. The clear resin on the base looks really cool to showcase the invisible woman's uh, power force fields. And of course, the torso stands so nothing gets left in the box for both statues. Really love the pose on Mr. Fantastic as well, very dynamic and shows the power of Mr. Fantastic too. We got a teaser for the prototype of both the OG colors and the black variant of this Iron Spider-Man. We finally got this Miles Morales printed, already looking very promising. Very small base, lots of details and textures. We have the full reveal for the museum type Apocalypse, probably the most comic accurate version of Apocalypse around. And if you are not into the color scheme which is black and blue, there's also an animated version of this statue which is the purple one. The details on the base as always is really remarkable just like the Thanos they did. And if you are eyeing the Archangel that was sculpted by Caleb Nefsen, both of them are actually from the same studio or line. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for probably the best museum type Archangel statue around. What makes it even more amazing is this is sculpted by no other than Caleb Nevzen. Archangel will come in his usual OG Blue and X-Force versions. And in case you are wondering, the base is the pod or the thing that Angel was created and turned into Archangel. We have the prototype reveal for this beast statue. I'm glad we finally able to see the prototype of this very dynamic beast statue. Even though it's dynamic, it still does not consume a lot of space. Got the Sylvestri Wolverine ready to ship. Very unique take on Wolverine. Perfect for Wolverine completes. Got this very rare Venom available and ready to ship. Just hit me up if you are interested. This Batman is ready to ship. Comes with the usual black or blue versions to choose from. Gonna take a bit of space due to the cape uh, being spread out. But a very unique version of Batman thanks to its pose. And it's also a great companion piece to the Superman that the studio produced before it. This museum type Superboy is ready to ship, most likely the best Superboy quarter scale you'll see, so just hit me up if you are interested. We got more photos of the work in progress of the prototype of the Superman Jim Lee. We have the prototype reveal for this Venomized Hulk that was sculpted by Caleb Nefsen and wow this came out amazing. It honestly looks like the renders. I think that's how good the prototype came out. Gonna be the Grail Venomized Hulk for sure. We have the reveal and open pre-order for this Venomized Juggernaut. This is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen. I think this is the third in line of Venomized characters that the studios have produced. I said studio because this is a collaboration of actually three studios. We got two teasers this week. First is the print of an upcoming museum type Gambit. This is actually a companion piece to the other museum type Rogue. And secondly, there will be a one-third Samurai Wolverine coming.
Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you are looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.